needed um, no, no, passion, I know, but right? let's, let's go. I mean, but you said something I want to focus on, though. One group so doing something to the other. Like, that's just not true, right? It's, it would be a small group of white people that exploited incorrectly a I group of black like people. I think the crowds that would show up for the lynchings, according to research that I've read, numbered in like 5,000. And they would mail. They but would then why, take was, pieces, why was slave being ab take slavery being abolished? pieces right? of, of like these people's bodies no, I'm and not supporting that's, them, that, right? That, that, that's a, that's a but like that is a not a small... Argument. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook. Runs leftist race beating professor. Okay, according to the kick, we've got love kicking us. Let's go right into today's video. Like, how is America racist? Uh, are, all right, are you familiar at all with the concept of structural racism? Yeah, it's a myth. No, it's so, not. So tell me why it's true. Okay, so. Not outcomes, tell me why it's true. So the textbook that you hearken back to in the 1950s, right? I found one of those in Virginia. It was I in saw publication the yeah, I, from I saw five. Yep, yeah, and so. When we think about, like, how do you design curriculum that's historically accurate that doesn't talk about oppression, that doesn't talk about one group being oppressed over the other, right? And so when you look at that Virginia textbook, I certainly don't argue that that's what we're looking at heading back towards. But my guess is if you were to try to write a curriculum that covers, you know, slavery in the U.S. or the, you know, uh, Holocaust or whatever and not you know, give the narrative that this group did this horrible thing to the other group, you're going to have to rely on some pretty... But it wasn't groups, though. That's incorrect. Not every white person was a slave owner. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter, though, because, you know... It's... Nine out of 13 states abolished slavery and by the time the, of constitutional ratification. And here's the other thing. I mean, it's not like were... every white person was supportive. In fact, we had abolitionists at the time of the founding. Exactly. Exactly. So, so why would you say one group? Well, I mean, you know, it's not, you don't have to have every white person. No, in fact, the majority right? of white people found slavery to be reprehensible at the founding. I don't know that if we would have pulled segregation no, no, we did, actually, in the 50s, we would have well, found that. Let's start with slavery. Nine out of 13 states abolished slavery by the time of constitutional ratification. Hmm. Yeah, then why did the South secede? Well, they seceded post-cotton gin for economic reasons. We went to war over it, though. To say that America... Well, you guys, the South declared war because they expected Lincoln to ban slavery. And he ended up doing it. Well, not for a long time. You know why? Because he wanted to. He wanted the fight to be about national unity, which is a good way to, I think, come wrapping around, right? National unity. So like, the first few years of the Civil War, he did not uh, expressly say, this war is about ending slavery. He got to it. And he later the got Cooper to Union that address, because the it. South was more passionate and the North needed um, no, no, passion, I know, but let's, right? let's go. I mean, but you said something I want to focus on, though. One group so doing something to the other. Like, that's just not true, right? It's, it would be a small group of white people that exploited incorrectly a I group of black like people. I think the crowds that would show up for the lynchings, according to research that I've read, numbered in like 5,000. And they would mail. They but then would why, take was, pieces, why was slave being ab take slavery being abolished? Take pieces right? of, of like these people's bodies no, I'm, and I'm not supporting that. That's, them, that, right? that, that's a, that's a pathos like, that argument. That's, that's not a small group of people. That's not an isolated is. event. But, I mean, in a, certain states it was widespread. A massive systemic problem, right? Nine states abolished it. Thomas Jefferson wrote in the original draft of the Declaration to King George admonishing him for bringing slavery. The first ever anti-slavery convention was in Philadelphia, chaired by Benjamin Franklin in 1775. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson got rid of the importation of new slaves I in understand. 1807. Guess yeah. what? None of that stuff's taught in our schools right now. What the lady is saying actually makes sense because according to stats, some of her, what she's using right there actually about the Lincoln aspects actually makes sense to me. But there are some facts she talked about that was not true. Um, that there, there some words she said that she, she spoke about that was not true, and I love how Charlie handled it. Charlie was like, "No, no, no, that that is not true." Um, when you when you go back to history of slavery, America is never proud of owning a slave, or they are regretting it. You understand? So if we are to go to the history aspect of it, we we, we know that. It's something that has been abolished and something that should be left abolished. But the reason why it's coming back is because the black wants reparation for what was done to their forefathers. And so the current Americans who are here right now never owned a slave, never enslaved anyone, never done anything bad about slavery aspects. So they, they ought not to have, they ought not to be any type of reparation to black people. Even apologizing. They, they ought not to apologize because they were not the one who owned the slave. 
So it's about, it's about so it's the four forefathers. That that is such and it's something that has been abolished and have been stopped, and everyone is looking forward. So she the the, the professor right there coming out talk about this race beating um aspect. It's something that happened before in the aspect of length on error, but it has it has stopped. There there were some points she was saying that I kinda like agree with, but at the same time, she's she's making me feel like it, it's something that's still occurring right now. And telling us the bad aspect of slavery, about the killings and stuff. We all know, uh, like it's it's terrible. Thinking about itself, about what they did to black people, it's it's a very terrible art. You know, some but during those times, it was business for them, and it's it, but it's bad. But if you have to check the history itself, you notice that it's even the black families that were selling their own brothers and sisters out to the white people. So if you think about it, you know that the black were actually doing their own self. When I heard about that, I cried that day. So the slavery aspect, I, I love how Charlie handled it. I love how Charlie um, puts the professor straight. There are some of our words that she's using or her stats that she's getting was actually false. And it's not true. Um, the entire video was amazing to watch. I love the entire video. I love how it was respectful and coordinated. So comment down below and talk about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.